Um, they're not very aggressive, um, and they're kind of picky eaters, so I'll be feeding them with my arm today. I'll put my arm right in there. So these are the, um, the paddle-legged beauty mosquitoes, um, also called Sabbathy cyaneus. They're from South America. They are so not native to here. They are kind of picky eaters, so the only way we can really get them to feed um, is to put our arm in the cage. So I volunteered. Now we're letting them blood feed so that way they can produce eggs and so that way we can keep the, keep the colony going. And it takes a bit of coaxing, but they'll, they'll usually come. I'll kind of blow a little bit of air in there and that'll be the CO2 and that like helps attract them a bit. between snow melts and heavy rainfall and more rain this spring, we did have higher mosquito numbers at the beginning of our season. And so we do have an insectary here at the Salt Lake City Mosquito Abatement District. And so we will rear and raise mosquitoes for educational purposes as well as research. Um, a mosquito can lay eggs in egg wraps or individually of 100 to 300 eggs. So one mosquito can certainly uh, pass off a lot of offspring that can cause issues down the road. And what we attempt to do is protect the community health, public health, by reducing mosquito numbers. Uh, so some of the main concerns that we have of mosquitoes, especially in the Salt Lake area, we usually get cases of West Nile virus every year in the human population. Uh, so that's why it's really important for people to check their yards or their houses for standing water because all it takes is just a week or less for a mosquito to develop from the egg to adult.